Obviously, devastating news. I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, and but I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy. I have so much respect for him, and um, I want Mike to be healthy. And he still is gonna knock me out, and I bought myself some time, <laughs> so Mike is still talking shit over there. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. This is too big of an opportunity. I think this fight's gonna change the world. And I turn all my L's into W's. That's a motto I live by. And the universe makes no mistakes. So let's see what's in store. But sorry this didn't work out to everyone, the fans. Love you guys. What's worse than a betrayal a canceled boxing fight Joe Rogan couldn't contain his criticism of Jake Paul after he pulled out of the highly anticipated showdown with Mike Tyson I mean seriously why on earth would Jake go through all the trouble of hyping up the match just to bail at the last minute such a move is truly a masterclass in unprofessionalism and a slap in the face to the fans and everyone involved in putting the event together. So naturally Rogan unleashed his thoughts on Jake. During his latest podcast you know like he's so averse to, underscore underscore. He's like oh no 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 even at 58 Mike Tyson is still a powerful fighter that nobody should mess with the guy can knock someone down with just one punch his strength and skill are legendary and anyone who faces him in the ring knows they're in for a tough battle Jake Paul must know this by now which is probably why he decided to step back from the fight after all if you're facing someone as fierce as Tyson it's only natural. To want to protect yourself stepping back might have been Jake's way of saving himself from what could have been a huge loss obviously devastating news I'm heartbroken speechless like gutted we've been working so hard over here Jake didn't want to look bad for backing out so he decided to make Tyson look like the bad guy in this whole situation instead of admitting he was worried about losing he turned the story around Jake made it seem like Tyson was the one with issues hinting that Tyson's Health was the reason he wanted to cancel the fight Jake went on to say that he cared a lot about Tyson's health and well-being he made it sound like he was trying to be thoughtful by cancelling as if he was doing it for Tyson's own good this way Jake could avoid looking scared while putting the focus on Tyson instead want in this camp but I do a uh, value Mike's health first and foremost love that guy have so much respect for him. And um I want Mike to be healthy and Joe Rogan has had enough of. Jake's excuses especially since he knows the truth according to Rogan the doctors who checked Tyson have cleared him of any health issues Tyson is fully ready to step into the ring and there's nothing holding him back now if anyone wants to cancel this fight it's probably Jake himself the way Jake is twisting the story makes it look like he's the one who's unsure not Tyson Rogan sees through Jake's talk and feels like he's just using excuses to cover up his own worries about facing Tyson I. Don't think Jake Paul really cares about Tyson's health at all he's just lying what else can we expect from someone who makes money off YouTube all he does is lure people in to click on his videos he says he still is going to knock me out and I bought myself some time so Mike is still talking, underscore underscore. Over there I'm ready whenever you are this is too big of a port opportunity one think this fight's going to change the world and I turn all my L's into W's that's a motto I live by the universe makes no mistakes so let's see what's in store but sorry this didn't work out to everyone the fans love you guys Tyson isn't staying quiet about Jake's claims and he's fired back calling Jake sparring videos fake Jake is just putting on a show for fans trying to look tougher than he actually is with both. Fighters sharing their training sessions online Tyson says Jake videos look more like a setup than actual hard work in the gym don't charge that many when Jake posted his sparring video fans didn't seem impressed at all one fan pointed out that guy had zero head movement Mike's known for that another fan didn't hold back either saying Big Mike is going to take that guy's head off people didn't believe the video showed a real fight and thought Jake's sparring partner wasn't serious some fans. Even suggested that Jake's partner might be a paid actor just there to make Jake look good they felt like the whole video was staged trying to make Jake appear stronger than he really is fans are used to seeing Tyson's intense training clips and this video didn't seem up to that standard another fan laughed at the idea of Jake winning saying Jake's not beating anyone up with fight night coming closer fans seem to believe believe that Tyson's real power will be way too much for Jake they're not convinced by the sparring video and expect Tyson to bring his best when they face off meanwhile Tyson posted his own training clip showing him dropping 
His sparring partner with a powerful left hook fans noticed that Tyson's video looked more real and packed with skill the way Tyson moved and the impact of his punch made it clear he's taking this fight seriously watching Tyson's video you can see his strength and skill at work unlike what fans felt from Jake's clip Tyson's movements were sharp and full of the kind of power that only comes from years of experience in the ring it was a reminder of the fighter he used to be and still is even at. 58 was good for today I you sure yeah me she underscore underscore sure absolutely you sure underscore underscore with all right let's do this you did great with the you sure yes got a lot going start both Tyson and Jake seemed super eager to finally get into the ring and settle things once and for all fans were really excited about this fight when they first heard it was happening earlier this year everyone was buzzing to see these two face off but then things took a turn Tyson had to step back from the original date because he had an ulcer flare up this health issue meant he couldn't fight as planned and Fans were disappointed wondering if the match would ever happen Jake Paul has been sharing lots of videos of himself training for the big fight trying to show he's getting stronger and faster but when Mike Tyson saw one recent video of Jake knocking down his sparring partner he wasn't impressed at all it didn't look real or tough enough for the legendary boxer in a recent interview with fighters Kamaru Usman and Henry Kudo Tyson. Didn't hold back on his thoughts about the clip he seemed to. Suggest that Jake's video was more for show than true training yes was that boy what's his name pa you know the black guy oh but Jake has his response to this in an interview with today the problem child said Tyson's dropping people in sparring he looks in the best shape and the strongest he's ever been his coaches are saying I know on November 15th it's going to be a war but I just plan on outboxing him and showing the world what I'm capable of and coming alive in the moment and knocking out. One of the best to ever do it all of this drama from Jake's side feels a bit silly he's been talking a lot about Tyson and how he's ready to beat him but now with the fight so close he's acting like he might not even want to go through with it it's almost like Jake is backing out after all the big talk he's made and that's disappointing for his fans Jake has been hyping everyone up for months promising an unforgettable match with Tyson. But if he's thinking of cancelling it feels like he's Letting everyone down especially those who were excited to see him fight a legend this whole situation makes Jake look like he's not ready to keep his promises and it's frustrating for everyone who was excited if Jake doesn't go through with this fight he's going to lose a lot of respect people want to see him face Tyson not just talk about it all the big words don't mean much. If he doesn't step into the ring honestly people like this should really be banned from boxing they completely ruin the Sports reputation perhaps Jake Paul should consider returning to his original gig making YouTube videos after all that's where he truly shines right so what are your thoughts on this please let me know down below.